Good morning, YouTubies, YouTube boobies. Uh, this morning, I'm at a rent house. We're going to be doing a uh, hydrojet. I uh, bought the kit off of Amazon. Ran about $70. That's a 70, about a 70 foot piece of like high pressure hose that you would see from a high pressure pressure washer, like a gas powered pressure washer. Um, it's pretty sturdy. It came with some Teflon tape and a few different tips. But after reading some reviews on the tips, it seemed like if you got like a better tip, and I'll explain that in a minute, uh, that you it, it would function better. The one that it comes with has one jet going forward and three jets coming back to kind of clear debris and to clean the pipe, the inside of the pipe. The one I bought, it was a two pack for $15, again on Amazon, and it was uh, one jet forward and six back. And when you're using like a 3,500 to 4,000 PSI gas powered pressure washer, that should be enough. Um, I'm gonna flip the camera around and kind of show you my little setup. So right over here is the tip. Again, it's, uh, it's one forward on the tip, just the tip. And then you got six back around this crown. And uh, I marked my hose every 10 feet. So one dash means 10, two means 20, and you guessed it, three means 30, all the way up to 70 foot. And uh, it also comes with the quick connect stuff in order to quick connect it onto a, this is the gun of the pressure washer. Uh, just a real quick pull back and it pops out. Again, Teflon tape on inside there. And the theory is, if you follow that high pressure hose back over to the machine, the theory is that once it's turned on and pushing 4,000 PSI, your gun becomes your on-off valve and you feed that line in and you kind of work it back and forth to clear debris, to clear clogs, and to clean the inside of your pipe. Uh, the house I'm working with doesn't have a current clog, but it does have what's known as a belly in the drain line. And that belly is in the concrete. So that low spot collects water, kind of like a P-trap would, but it's you don't want a P-trap in the middle of your drain line. So it just kind of collects debris. And the house is built in the mid 80s, so we're gonna go ahead and flush it out real good to hopefully keep it from grabbing onto more and more debris. I'll see if I can't get a, uh, uh, a couple of videos of debris flowing down the clean out pipe. I'll show you what I'm doing over here. Got my little setup going on. And the theory is you just feed the pipe down here. This way is the street, that way is the house. So I'm gonna feed it going into the house. It should try to take itself and push itself because of the pressure from the pressure washer. But uh, you just kind of feed it back and forth, back and forth. You don't let it run from you. And uh, should see some good debris go down and through the drain. Now, once I'm done doing the house side, I have about 55 feet going that way. I'm gonna measure going out there towards the street and a few feet before the main drop off where it, it goes into the main line. Uh, I'm gonna stop there, but I'm gonna try to push down whatever it is that, uh, gunk we had build up that we flushed down just to make sure it cleans out good and then maybe we'll um fill up a bathtub or something like that to really just kind of clean everything out really good and uh i'd like to get a camera at some point and run a camera but we'll see Ho hopefully this helps